Awesome. So how you doing, Allie? Good. How are you? Good. I know it's been a while since we talked. Let's see. You left the program probably like two, three months ago. Yes. Yes. Yep. And how have you been getting along since? Good. I am still going hard. Um, went through the holidays and um, made it out even actually better. So yeah, I'm still kicking, I guess, with the program and yeah. That's awesome. So something I'd like to talk with you about, and I feel like a lot of people could connect with this, is, um, you know, when you signed up, we did not know each other at all. I mean, you basically went and put your trust in a total stranger yeah. to you know, change your body and health. So can you just like tell me a little about that? Like, did you have any fears like when you first? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. When I went into it, that was like my biggest fear. Um, was working out with a complete stranger. You know, I had done the at home thing with, uh, you know, doing my own thing at home. And I worked out with girlfriends before in the past, but I never gone with like a complete stranger and like dove into that. So that was intimidating for me. And to do that, yeah, just to do that with somebody, it's, it's a vulnerable stage, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so oh, yeah. it took a lot, but, um, you made it so easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'm glad I did. <laughs> awesome. So, um, you know, what was kind of your situation before? Like what kind of drove you into looking for, you know, like training? Um, I just felt like I needed someone to keep me a hundred percent accountable. I knew I wanted to be, I like working out. I do, but I was kind of hitting that like, um, stage where you're kind of losing it where you're kind of like mm -hmm. uh it, am I seeing like the right results like maybe I should just quit what I'm doing and I just kind of hit a wall and I knew I needed somebody to be like no girl <laughs> you're gonna keep going and so that's when I contacted you right on awesome and so you know you came from you know the situation like beforehand but when you joined the program like like what changed like how did it change you um it kept excuse me it kept me well like I said accountable I, I mean every single I mean there was one day I was like I don't know if I'm feeling the best and you're like nope show up I mean it just pushed me that much further into my goals into like no girl like you are doing this for the right reasons you're doing the right thing um, it taught, I mean, it taught me like, keep going, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. and, and it did too, when I hit that wall and then I got in with you and it just made me realize, trust the whole process. I guess <laughs> like, don't doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then you ended up gaining like probably like 10 pounds of muscle. Yep. I did all while losing fat. And so, uh, honestly, it, yeah, it, it was quite amazing. I guess I didn't expect to, I, I figured that I would keep like, and it didn't work out exactly, but I kept, I kept, always thought that like the fat would come with the muscle and it did mm -hmm. in the beginning, but then yeah. it started slowly creeping down and that muscle kept creeping up and it yeah. was a cool uh, experience to see. Yeah. And that, like with that, I mean, how are you feeling about your, like your body now, like the changes? I'm loving it. I feel so confident and I just, I'm, yeah, I, I'm happy. It's fun. <laughs> my husband, uh, I'm always like, look at my muscle. And he's like, you're worse <laughs> than a high school boy. <laughs> yeah. I've had muscles before. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> yes. And so, um, you know, something that I feel like so many, like, especially like women could connect with because you're a mom and you work from home and everything like how did this program like cater around that because you know you're busy you got sports you got ever like basically like everything going on like how did this program cater to that and that was one of I don't know if you remember but that was one of my biggest concerns with talking with you was um you know what if my husband he's a lineman he gets called out all the time I don't yeah. have a constant I mean he's my support but he's not all he cannot always yeah. not, he's always available Mm -hmm. And so that was the one thing that kept me going. I would bring my youngest, my two-year-old who is busy with, I mean, uh -huh. I mean, how many times a week do you think he was there? Probably at least twice a week. I bet he was there and 
Uh-huh. And you were cool with it and you helped me and we'd be, you know, you'd be helping me count reps and watching my kids. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't have done that without you because I'd have been stuck at home. I'd have been, yeah, stuck. Uh-huh. Not having yeah. daycare. Yeah. And did you have any of that, like, you know, like mom guilt associated with like, you know, doing something for yourself or do you think this kind of benefited? Honestly, no, I think it benefited me. I think that it put me into like a healthy state. I think that, um, doing something, it was, it's a half an hour a day. It's not like you're taking, yeah. you know, you're not working out full time, eight hours, you know, uh-huh. it, it's a half an hour of your day and it does, it helps mentally clarify and like you're doing something for yourself you leave feeling good like Mm -hmm. no honestly I didn't feel mom guilt at all I thought it helped me as being a mom oh yeah totally I know I know if I didn't like take that time like during the day to like focus on myself and like do something good for myself I'd be a menace (laughs) I have like no patience for my child no (laughs) it's a gift that keeps on giving I love it right yes so um, you know, people who are like watching this and stuff, you know, they don't know me at all. They don't know the program at all. Like, is there any advice you'd like to, you know, maybe give someone who's kind of on the fence about joining? I would say do it honestly, truly. Um, I have, I literally have, I walked into this with so much nervousness and anxiety and I, I don't like, um, go out in, uh, uh, I guess help this. I don't, I don't, this isn't my type of thing. And uh-huh. I believe in this program so much and what you're doing for people. I just uh, go into it and just give it a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Well, you did so awesome while you were in it. And uh, you know, like you said, you were kind of hesitant about joining, you joined, you got the results, you did great. And then now you are transferring that education and knowledge, you know, on exercise and nutrition and you've kept yes. going with it. And I'm so proud yeah. of you. I couldn't have done it without you. Yes. No. Awesome job, Allie. I am so proud of you and your results. And especially the fact that even after, you know, you felt that you were ready to go off on your own, you kept it up. So it became yeah. a lifestyle. Yes, it did. Which is the whole goal. So yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Allie. And yes. I really enjoy talking with you. Yes, you too. It's nice to see you. Yes, you too. All right, girl, have a good one and say hi to your uh, little terror children for me. <laughs> I will. I will. See you later. All right. Have a good one. <laughs>